Howdy folks, welcome to this special video. We are going to migrate our game from 1610 up here, build 1610 to 1621. And so I've had a few people ask me about that. And so I figured I'd just put this in one video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a new game and we're gonna do, let me see, should I call it build 1621? Bid, <laughs> build. 1621. Okay, this is our seed. That's the same seed as my old game, so that way my start location is the same planet. And let me see. Where are the difficulties? There we go. Okay, so I had medium and then I had. It doesn't matter, but that actually matters. And so we're going to. Yeah, we're going to leave the rest of this stuff here. So you want to set it basically the same way you did your other game. And then you're going to start game and you're going to end up going down to the planet in a uh, in your escape pod and land. OK, so we have just landed uh, finally. <laughs> and yeah, I, OK, I'll just take that stuff out of here. Uh, we're going to skip this because I don't need it and then we're going to go into the console and we're going to go item menu we're going to enable the item menu we're going to get rid of all this stuff and all this stuff and we're going to take a hover vessel not a cap yeah a capital vessel a small vessel and a base starter because that's what i have that's what i need to move into the game so that's why i'm doing this and so let's see we're going to go like this we're going to place down the base starter here so I think I'll just put it here. It's a good place for that. And like that. And we're going to put the... I just want to put these far enough apart that they're not going to ram into each other and stuff. Okay, so there's the small vessel. There's the hover vessel. And we're going to put our capital vessel over here. And this should be far enough out of the way. There we go. Okay, so we've got those four things. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the file system from the old save to the new save and I'm going to transfer them. And so I'll show you how to do that in just a second in Windows Explorer. So we're going to exit out of this game and we can exit out of Imperion and I will be right back. Okay, so we're in Windows Explorer. We are in this path, as you can see here, it's the Imperion folder under Steam. And so what you wanna do is this is the game that we just created and we're gonna do open in new window. We're gonna put this up here. Okay. And in here, there are things shared here. So you've got HV player 1051, SV player 1050, etc. So these four things, those are the ones that I just put in there. And so what we're going to do is we're first going to go to BA player 1049 and you notice here there is an area file zero dot area okay that is the blocks and all that stuff and so what we're going to do is we're going to go to start up episode 13 and we're going to go to shared now if you are doing this with an existing game you definitely want to make a backup first i mean that should go without saying <laughs> You should always have a backup anyway because it's an alpha. If you're playing without a backup, you're doing it wrong. So <laughs> anyway, let's see. What we want to find is the BA player, let me see, 1589. I think that's the bigger one here. Let me see. That is... So if you look in here, you can find the information about like where it is, when it was last touched, all that stuff. And let me see, where was the, this has a whole lot of, I'm thinking it's going to be the 1256 because that's the one that I placed down. Yeah, that has a whole lot more. Okay. I think that's the one that I placed. So 1256, we're going to go here. Now what you can do is you can also go in the game and you can point at it. We're going to copy this. I'll show you that in a second. We're going to copy this over 1049. So we're going to copy here, replace the file, and then we're going to do the same thing with the HV. We're going to go back to here. We're going to go like that. 
and we're going to go to HV and we're going to copy this over here replace we can actually just sit this here we can go back to the SV the SV player you want to copy the area file copy here and then we're going to find the CV player so we're going to go to shared and we're going to find the CV player there we go whoops I'm going to open that up and we're going to copy that to here okay so now you notice that these numbers are different, so you don't want to copy the whole folder. You just want to copy that area file. That contains all of the blocks and all that stuff, and the inventory of all of the, it's basically the kind of like the blueprint, except it contains the inventory and the fuel levels and all that stuff too. I think, I think the fuel levels, I'm not positive about that. The fuel levels might be in the that other file. But anyway, we're going to go back into Imperion. I'll meet you there in just a second. Okay, we are back in Imperium. We're going to go resume game. We're going to do our 1621, which is the one that we were just in. And whenever it loads up, <laughs> eventually, there we go. Okay, so it is, now you see it replaced all this stuff with, and I don't have my new armor and everything yet, but yeah, it replaced all this stuff with our new builds and or our old builds or whatever and so if you go in here these things I think are going to be all completely out of fuel let me see P menu yeah see they're all out of fuel and stuff like that okay so the other thing you want to do is you want to go whoops not item menu you want to go DI and that turns on this little thing up here so if you see here you're pointing at base 1049 you're pointing at 1052 you're pointing at so it shows you the it shows you the entity numbers and those are the numbers of those folders in there so the other thing I need to do here before uh, I forget and let's see because this stuff yeah see this stuff is not spoiled yet and so cool they've got new they've got new icons awesome it's looking nicer isn't it they're looking more um, I don't know they look I think they look better than these but they're looking consistent too, like they're all a set. Some of these things didn't really look like they belong to the same set. But yeah, anyway, um, so in order to keep the perish time, let me see. Yeah, we got the item menu. So we're going to take some fuel here. I'm just going to fuel this stuff up. Let me see. Uh, we're going to put in some fuel on this. There we go. Okay. I just want to make sure that stuff doesn't die. <laughs> And that so see even here you the plants that you have in your base and stuff get preserved with that and the inventories of everything cool they've even got new icons for the fiber and everything cool I'm gonna have to get used to all that Wow <laughs> it's Wow it's all new icons okay so anyway the other thing we need to do is the player and so I need to go back out let me see here we're gonna I think we're just gonna stand right here and actually it's going to change the location of our player anyway so I'm going to because the thing is I have none of my inventory and I also lost all my tech tree stuff so I'm gonna exit back out again and I will meet you guys back in Windows Explorer okay so we are back in Windows Explorer we're gonna go back to saves games and I want to do startup episode 13 players and we're gonna go here we're gonna go back to here games and I'm gonna make a copy of this just so that if it corrupts everything I don't have to start over from scratch because sometimes when you copy the player if it has something in the inventory that wasn't there or if it's in some uh, location like if you're in a different planet that's no longer in this seed because like for example I'm on planet Whalen and let me copy this over let's do this copy here replace it so I can yap while I'm getting everything started back up. But yeah, if you are, if you copy this and you're on a different planet, like say I'm on Whalen, and then I copied it from like a different seed or something, and it's on, you know, Omicron or Akula or something like that, it's going to try to find that planet 
and it can't find it and so it's going to give you an error and it can't place you anywhere it can't load the play field it's trying to load and so it'll give you a continue or quit error and it's basically a loop a, a forever loop on that and they i may have done it here let's see yep i think <laughs> all right i think i'm gonna have to do my player the old-fashioned way and so in order to do that I'm going to have to go into the old game and check out my inventory and all that stuff and send it to myself. So, yep, that's that's basically how you can move your items across games. I will <laughs> I will uh yeah, I will see if I can I'm going to try a couple more things, but I don't want to bore you guys with those because I'm not sure if that's going to work. But anyway, yeah, that's how you transfer your items across games, and so hopefully this video will be helpful, and let me know if there's anything else that can be useful with that, and we'll see you in the next video. Later!